What's up everybody, NFX here with a quick shot tutorial. In this tutorial I'm going to talk about how you would export your FL Studio song into individual tracks so that you can give those tracks or WAV files to another person, let's say an engineer or something, or someone who was going to mix or master your recording, or maybe you've just sold your, your, your beat and the customer would like to have all the component parts of that, of that song in individual WAV files that, so that they can remix it and arrange it however they like later on. It's really easy. What you want to do first though is you want to make sure that all of your channels in your, in your uh, pattern uh, are being routed to an FX channel, in other words into a mixer channel. So for example if I bring up this sign bass uh, I can see here the FX channel is empty. Now there's an easy way of assigning these you just bring them up and then you hit control L control L will assign it here you can see it's assigned it uh, let's see what's number nine which is here sign base it even retains the same color and gives it the name of the channel so it's very convenient uh, I'm gonna go to the next one which is called whistle that one also is empty so I'm gonna hit control L and boom it's now assigned it and you're going to want to make sure that all of your channels here in this view are assigned. Now I've already gone through and, and I've done that and if we look over here you can see that for example CP in the mixer is CP over here. Uh, insert 1 and Insert 2 were ones that I connected uh, without doing the Control L method so they're just called Insert 1 and Insert 2 but all these other ones you can see kind of have some uh, some meaningful name. Uh, I would suggest that you give them all some meaningful name. For example, I know that insert one here is a bass, so I'm going to go ahead and call that bass. Uh, insert two is a kick, and insert seven happens to be an albino or a synth. I'm just going to say synth. So now they all have somewhat meaningful names. And then the easy part is you're going to hit Control R, which is going to uh, allow you to save it somewhere. And in this case, I'm going to go to C or M temp output. If I can spell it, there it is. And I'm going to say uh, go into there, and then I'm going to give it a name, and I'm going to call this test render, and uh, that's the name of my wave file. And I'm going to hit save. Now, what you want to do is when this next dialog pops up you want to make sure you have split mixer tracks selected and what that's going to do is it's going to make a WAV file for every one of these mixer tracks and I got split mixer tracks selected I'm gonna hit start and it's gone and done its magic it's done now I'm gonna bring the window over here you can see here's my M temp output and you can see it has rendered every one of those channels into its own WAV file very easy, really professional if you're dealing with, uh, you know, record label or, you know, any clientele that needs this type of format, you can just do that. You can give them the rendered MP3 and then you could do this and put these all on a uh, couple of CDs and send it to them and you look like a real pro. And it doesn't matter what they're using. They could be using Pro Tools or Cubase or who knows what, uh, you know, just anything that can import WAV files and use them. So there you go, NFX, QuickShot, Warbeats.com, check it out.